We've just been stuck together for 12 years. It's been nothing but pure hell since the moment I ran into you, Ray. Every time I look at you, I get sick to my stomach, thinking what my life could have been if I never ever bumped into Ray Gibson. All right, boy, you better slow down, because you finna say something you're gonna regret. You better just quiet down, nigga. The only thing I regret is the day I met you, Ray. Well, that's the way it is, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. Well, I ain't got nothing else to say to your ass then. Thank you. This is a movie directed by a former director of photography. It's very interesting the way everything looks, but um, always was a little short on story and understandability. So there's a lot of things in here that try to help bring the story along. Voiceover, fancy opticals, <laughs> trying to explain certain things visually. A lot of things you saw in there were sort of digitally put in too. The problem here was that this all was one day and it came at the beginning of the movie and you had to get the story told as quickly as you could to make the rest of the movie make some sense. What's interesting about this movie is that I actually was brought on to the movie while they were shooting, partially because of the story. So I didn't have that much input on the script specifically. But here was a director for the first time we would sit in a trailer in the middle of the desert, basically, and look at every foot of dailies and make elaborate, elaborate notes. He was very particular about that kind of thing. But from a story point of view, he was a little ADD when it came to story, I always thought, that he would sort of forget that the story was part of what we were trying to tell. Any kind of restructuring or any kind of dropping of lines or dropping of things, he was always clueless about. It actually challenged you to kind of come up with other things here and there. In the beginning, it was, hard. It was like fighting for it. In the, then it became clear what I was better at and what he was better at. And the director kind of worked that. Round about 1972, I got transferred to the infirmary. And those two fools were still at it. But no matter how tough a man is, he spends enough time on this farm, you'll find his breaking point. It can be triggered by any little thing. A face, a voice, even a smell. He was an architectural student originally, and I think that building something out of nothing, he was very strong at visually. White only pies. That boy went crazy.